in today's video, we are doing trying the entire menu at IKEA. I have been obsessed with IKEA for the past few years. Literally have bought so many things from there. I'm always watching YouTube videos about IKEA and I also beg Bird to go with me all the time. But I actually haven't explored much of their food options. So I'm so excited to be doing that today. But first, before we go meet mom at IKEA, I'm gonna quickly take my personalized care of vitamins who are so kindly sponsoring this portion of the video. Vitamins have always been super confusing to me. I mean, there's so many and I would just get super overwhelmed and not know which ones to take. But Care of makes it super easy to find out which vitamins you might need because they have this quick quiz that asks you about your lifestyle, health goals, etc. and recommends the right vitamins and supplements for your specific needs and goals. Then they ship your personalized vitamins, supplements, and powders straight to your door every month, which are made from good for you, clean ingredients that are backed by the latest science and research. They come in these really convenient packs like this. So instead of like pulling out a million different bottles, everything I need for the day is right in this little pack. It makes it super travel friendly and these are made from a plant-based film, so they're compostable too. Some of my main focuses are digestive health and skin health, so not only do they include supplements in my daily packs to support that, but I've also been loving their gut check packs and their matcha collagen powder. My skin feels hydrated and supple, and the probiotics promote healthy digestion. So take care of Squiz and see what vitamins and supplements they recommend for you. Click the link below and use my code FeedMeiMei for 50% off your first order with Care of. Thank you, Care of, for sponsoring, and let's go to IKEA! So to start off, we are trying their breakfast items. So first up, we have the small breakfast, which comes with potatoes, egg, and bacon. All right, let's try some of these potatoes first. Cheers. Hmm. Nice crunch on the upside. Yeah, that actually shocked me. They don't look like the crispiest potatoes, but actually has a nice crisp. These eggs look very interesting. First off, they don't look like the best eggs either. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. They're like kind of fluffy, but there's something off about it. I think it's not as eggy. Like the flavor. Yeah, the flavor is off. I prefer the potatoes. Now for the bacon. Cheers. Mmm, mm. very, very smoky and delicious flavor. Mm -hmm. Also, this whole plate is only $3.99. Can you believe that? Wow, crazy. I know, mom's gonna start coming here every day for breakfast. She loves a good deal. That is an excellent deal. For this breakfast plate overall, I give it a 7.5. Pretty good. I give it a 7.5 too. Next up, we have a blueberry scone and a cinnamon scone. If you guys are new here, mom hates cinnamon. Mm -hmm. So let's try the blueberry one first. Good idea. <laughs> let's break it apart. Oh, whoa. Wow. That looks kind of fluffy for a scone. I feel it's like scone usually crumbly. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. It's actually delish. Delish. I feel like a lot of scones I have are really dry. This one is not dry. It's quite moist for a scone. And it's crunchy on the outside. Mm -hmm. It has a nice light crisp and it has really nice blueberry flavor. This one, I think I give it a seven. Solid. I will give it a seven as well. Again, we're agreeing. I'm sure we're not going to agree on the cinnamon. All right, let's rip this cinnamon scone. Ooh, it does have that same fluffy texture mom i can see all the cinnamon nested inside of there <laughs> it looks good cheers mm. Mm. why are you making faces it should be so good not good <laughs> that cinnamon flavor is very strong it's very good delish mm. <laughs> i like the texture only <laughs> You like the blueberry one better. Oh, yes. I actually really like this one. This one has a crunchy sugar top, and it's also sweeter than the blueberry one. So for this one, I'd give it 7.5 out of 10. Just because of the flavor, it's only getting a 5. Yeah, overall, I'm not even into scones, but these are really good scones. Yes, they are really good scones. Next, we have this piece of garlic toast. I love garlic, and I love toast. Me too. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. 
I mean, this is basically just garlic bread and you cannot go wrong with garlic bread. But they did it to perfection. I think they toasted it really crunchy on the outside and very strong flavor of garlic butter. Mm -hmm. The rest of the bread is very soft. Yeah, and fluffy. I mean, because it's two of my favorite things, I think easily I give this 8 out of 10. Hey, I'm gonna give it 8 out of 10 too. We have to start having you rate first so then it doesn't seem like you're always copying my rating. What? <laughs> Next, we have the veggie medallions. I've never tried this at Ikea before. Oh, Looks like there's some broccoli, maybe potato. Potato, huh? Yeah. All right, let's give it a try. Cheers. You definitely have the potato flavor. I feel like it's very prominent. I taste the broccoli first. And actually that throws off the potato flavor. And because it's a combination of a little bit of cheese and the broccoli and the potato, it's not a great combination in my opinion because it makes the broccoli taste not as fresh broccoli. I didn't think it was that bad, but compared to some of the other stuff we had, it's not up there. I would give it 5.5 or 6. I was thinking either around there actually. Actually. More on the 5.5 side. See. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm copying you. <laughs> this one, maybe you guys can skip it. <laughs> All right, that's it for the breakfast items. Now it's time for lunch. They just switched over at the cafeteria, so we're gonna go grab all the lunch items. We just got back with all the lunch offerings. So first up, we're gonna start off with their Greek salad. So it looks like on top of here, they have some cucumbers, onions, olives, cherry tomatoes. They also have a side of the Greek dressing. So let's pour the dressing on. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. All the ingredients seem nice and fresh, you know? And the dressing is like kind of acidic and it goes really well with the vegetables. Yeah, it's very refreshing. Pretty good IKEA salad. I think I would even give it a 7.5. I like all the different textures. You get the crunchy cucumber, juicy tomato. You already know I love onion. Seven. <laughs> Next up, we have some soups. So this one is the tomato feta. Ooh, I wish I had some grilled cheese to dip in it. Oh, that would nice. be very uh -huh. yummy. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Very strong tomato flavor. And tangy. Mm -hmm. Bursts of flavor. And you get a little of the bits of feta in there, which adds a little texture mm -hmm. and a little bit of like creaminess. I give this a solid 7.5. I would give it a 7.5 as well. Then our second soup that we have here is the chicken and vegetable soup. Looks like it's filled with lots of different veggies. It's wow. so colorful. It has more veggie than soup. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. It's very flavorful too. It is flavorful. I'm not sure I like the flavor though. I prefer the tomato soup. Although this one is fun because it has lots of different textures from all the vegetables. This one, I give 5.5. Oh, that long. This one, I probably give it a 7. Next up, we have the chicken BLT wrap. Cheers. Cheers. Actually, it looks like there's some avocado. It's nice actually. It adds a moist factor to the wrap. And it actually is perfect combination. So when you bite into it, you get the chewy wrap and then you get the fresh crunch from the lettuce and the juicy tomato with nice chunks of chicken in there. Mm -hmm. And then the creamy avocado and the smoky bacon. I would love to have jalapeno in there. Oh, that oh. would be good. Even elevate it to another level. Yeah. Listen, Ikea. <laughs> Mom has ideas for you guys. I think I would give this one a solid seven. Oh, that long? It's because of the tomatoes. Ah, I'd probably give it a 7.5 or 8. 7.5 with jalapeno, 8. <laughs> But you didn't even try it with jalapenos yet. But I can imagine it. <laughs> Next step, we have the plant balls. This is supposed to be like their Swedish meatballs, but it's the vegetarian version. So it has eight plant balls, mashed potatoes, gravy, lingonberry jam, and peas. Cheers. Cheers. Very interesting. It can fake as a meatball. You think so? Yeah. You think it can pass as real meat? Yeah. It does have that mouth feel and a little bit of taste of meat. Kind of, yeah, I could see that. But I could also see that it also doesn't taste like real meat at the same time. It kind of like borders between mm. is it meat or is it not meat? It looks like meat and it's shaped like meat balls. <laughs> it doesn't quite taste like meat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why do you keep saying it like that? I think it's not bad. Like as a plant-based alternative, it does have actually this kind of umami flavor that, you know, meat uh -huh. does. I want to taste it with the berry. With the lingonberry jam. 
The lingonberry jam is a bit sweet, but also has some tartness too. Kind of similar to like cranberry sauce, mm -hmm. you know? I like it without it. I don't know, it just didn't go well with it in my taste bud. Mashed potato. Cheers. It's okay. It's just regular mashed potato. Yeah, I mean, it's just not particularly creamy or kind of just like so-so. Yeah. yeah. On the mashed potatoes, even the gravy didn't really add much flavor. I think maybe they didn't add enough gravy on our plate. I would rate it 6.5. Mm, yeah, maybe 6.5. But in the combination the with combination the whole plate. The combination is probably a, a six. 6. Next up, we have the veggie balls. And they come with a pumpkin sage sauce and cauliflower rice. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Do you like it? No. <laughs> I, like I don't it. like it. I know you don't like it. Because How do you know I don't like it? Because it has ginger flavor. You think? I just know it tasted bad. I didn't For know you. what the flavor was. I just know I didn't like it. It had a little bit of taste to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the face that I'm expecting. I like the balls, but I don't like the sauce. The you sauce think the sauce actually, is what ruins it? Yeah. Mm. It's quite okay without the sauce. Tastes similar to the other plant-based ball. No. No, it tastes similar. It has a little bit of taste, kind of meat. Also a tiny taste of fish balls in the Asian market. You know, the what? fish ball. Try one. Mmm. Haha. -ha. I could see it. And that was not that bad. But you didn't even try the cauliflower rice. Oh. Okay, let's do that first. Mmm. Mm. It has no flavor. It's bland vegetables and mushy. <laughs> overall, I give this plate 2 out of 10. On the veggie balls itself, it's 6. But the overall plate is 3. <laughs> now is the moment we've all been waiting for. We have the famous Swedish meatballs from Ikea. Yay! Have you had these before, Mom? Long, long time ago, when you were a little kid. They were delicious. So they come with the Swedish meatballs, gravy, mashed potatoes, lingonberry jam, and peas. And I love how they give this little flag. Look how cute. Yeah, the Swedish flag. <laughs> Cheers. Mm, 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 so much better than the plant balls and the veggie balls. This is why I wanted to try those two first, because I knew once we tried this, then those would not have any chance. This is all on a different level. Full of flavor, very umami, and very delicious. And the gravy adds this nice creaminess to it, and even more depth of flavor there. Potato. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is it just me or this potato even better? I agree. I was going to say the same thing. I think maybe because they put more gravy on it. I don't know. But something about this potato is so much better than the potato we had in the plant ball one. Yeah. Even though I'm pretty sure it's the same potato. I know. It's really strange. I think it's a solid eight. I give it a nine. Really? Yeah. After all those disappointing balls that we had, <laughs> I just feel so good to eat the real thing. Although I will say the plant ball wasn't that bad. It was more so the veggie ball that was like... Yeah. Next up, we have the chicken tenders and they come with some fries dip it in some ketchup cheers mm. 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 very very good the breading is nice and crispy and the seasoning of the breading you get a very strong pepper flavor i actually prefer the chicken without the ketchup because the flavor of the chicken and breading is very good mm. all right let's try some fries cheers Mm. Mm. These have a nice light crisp on the outside and very good potato flavor. They definitely know how to do their fry stuff because in the breakfast, the potato were really good too. I give this a solid 8.5. I would give it an 8.5 too. And then we also got a side of the mac and cheese. It looks very creamy. Cheers. Cheers. It's not bad. It has a nice cheesy flavor. The main thing is that the noodles are overcooked. Absolutely. And it became this mushy mess. <laughs> mushy mess. So for the mac and cheese, I think I would give it a 6. Just because of the mushy noodle. If the noodle wasn't mushy, I'd give it a 7. I'd probably just give it a 5.5. Next up, we have the Havana chicken. And it's chicken thigh with mojo sauce served with black beans, rice, and plantain. Let's try to cut through this chicken, see how tender it is. Ooh. Looks quite juicy in there. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, very nice seasoning. Yeah, it has a lot of flavor. It's like savory, a little kind of like a chili flavor, but not spicy. It has the Cajun flavor. Yeah, like a Cajun flavor. The chicken, I wouldn't say it's dry, but it's dry for a thigh. Usually chicken thigh is juicier than this. So it's not like as dry as chicken breast. I totally agree. It's on the dry side, but it made up for it with flavor. It pairs quite well with the black bean and rice, but the rice is a bit mushy. It's overcooked, but since the chicken is tiny bit dry, actually it's wet. <laughs> It worked. It balanced. Yeah. Yeah. Plantain. Cheers. 
Mm. Mm. Plantain is kind of like a savory banana. It has smoky, tart, savory flavor on this banana. <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of balanced the whole plate pretty well. Overall, I think I give this dish 7.5. Yeah, 7.5 seems fair. So for the last thing on the lunch menu, we have the salmon filet. It comes with salmon, red pepper relish, mashed potatoes, and of course, peas. peas. <laughs> Everything comes with peas here. You must love peas in Sweden. Yeah, must be. Cheers. The salmon is overcooked and dry. A little fishy, not fresh. The red pepper relish, on the other hand, is pretty good. It's very interesting. It's kind of sweet. It's a little tangy too. The flavor actually pairs nicely with the salmon. But I think just the salmon quality was a disappointment. I think for this plate, I give it like 5. Is that too harsh? I think 4.5. Oh, you were more harsh. You know, I'm very particular with my fish. That's true. She's very picky with fish. And she knows how to catch fish. Mom loves fishing. Next up we have the dessert category so this one is their strawberry shortcake it has some nice layers it looks like there's some strawberry jam and whipped cream cheers, cheers. Mm -hmm. not bad it's tasty but the cake is a tiny bit dry yeah it's kind of dry but at the same time they add a lot of that strawberry jam and a whipped cream it, that it help moisten it back up i really like the cream actually it's nice and light and fluffy and it pairs really well with the cake and the strawberry jam the sweetness is primarily coming from the jam i feel like the cake itself isn't too sweet and there is a decent amount of strawberry flavor too i would give this a 7.5 i would give a 7.5 too not because i'm copying mom i already sure. had it in my head yeah. This dessert, I think, is actually one of their more signature desserts. It's an almond cake, which is actually inspired by a Swedish candy, I believe. It's called Dime. It has a lot of layers. You can see there's like chocolate layer on top and a white chocolate layer. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. It does taste very similar to a candy bar. You get like this rich milk chocolate flavor layered with the white chocolate. And there's like a crunch in there. There's a lot of good flavor. And it doesn't taste like your ordinary dessert. This is more of a dense and rich dessert than like the strawberry shortcake. That one's more like light. This one is almost equivalent to eating a candy bar, you know? It kind of have an almond rock and mouth feel. Very strong on the chocolate, almond, and caramel flavors. This one is really good and I feel like it's really unique. So I actually think I give this one a I still give it a 7.5. Also, usually at IKEA they have cinnamon buns, but our IKEA seems to be out of them both in the cafeteria area and the bistro area. So we actually just bought one of their boxes of cinnamon buns and we're gonna microwave it using the microwave in the cafeteria. You know, that was mom's idea. Yeah, that's mom's idea. She's always thinking. But at the same time, now you have to eat cinnamon bun. <laughs> that backfired on you, mom. Okay. <laughs> it smells so good. Ooh, look at all that cinnamony, ooey goodness inside. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. It should be so good, Mom. No, I'm good. <laughs> Heating it up in the microwave was the move. It's fluffy, cinnamony, you got that icing. It has such a strong cinnamon flavor after you bite into it. Yes, mom, it's a cinnamon bun. Not my favorite. You don't like it? No. This one, I think I give a solid seven. It would be unfair for me to rate this one. But didn't you rate the cinnamon scone? I know, I just like to rate that one. <laughs> At least that one, the texture, I really like. This one is just... You didn't like the texture or the flavor? No. So, so you're not going to rate it? I'm not. I just want to be fair to you cinnamon lover. Mom is fair. I am. <laughs> Okay, so we just came back from the bistro, which is the area that after you check out and you bought all your items from Ikea, you can go there to grab like a quick snack. So they have like hot dog, pizza, pretzels. Usually they have ice cream, but today their ice cream machine's broken. They pulled a McDonald's on us. <laughs> Is that what we call oh, a McDonald's? Yeah, okay. McDonald's ice cream machine is always broken. That's true. And not only did we not get to try the ice cream, there was a few other things that they usually have that they didn't have today. I don't know, it was an off day maybe. First up, a slice of cheese pizza. You know, this kind of looks like those pizzas you get in elementary school. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. 
Mm. Hmm. Surprisingly, it has a really nice crisp on the bottom from the crust. It caught me totally by surprise. Yeah. The crispy crust really makes this pizza taste so much better. I wouldn't say it's a thin crust because it actually still is kind of thick and doughier towards the middle, but it does have a really nice crisp on the bottom. I'm very impressed by that. I wouldn't say it has a lot of cheese, but that cheese makes the dough taste buttery. Pairing with the tomato sauce is actually very good. Yeah, I think this, if it didn't have that crispy crust, it'd be pretty like, you know, but the crispy crust is what's keeping it in the game. In the game, I like that. It's no Costco pizza though. I do like my Costco pizza better than this. I give it a seven because of the crispy crust. I think seven is fair. Without the crispy crust, it's like a four. five. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have pretzel. Certainly looks very nice. I know, it's so pretty. It has a really nice braid and you can see those big chunks of salt on there. I think with the pretzel, you're supposed to eat it with mustard. Uh, not me. <laughs> I don't like mustard on my pretzels. Well, we have normal mustard and spicy mustard. Oh. Maybe you like the spicy one. Uh, uh, Cheers. Cheers. Mm, I didn't like it. Mm. You want to spit it out? The baking soda, they put too much and it didn't even have time to fluff up the dough. You can taste that really nasty baking soda taste. <laughs> raw baking soda it taste. It does kind of taste raw. Sorry, it's <laughs> not good. I think 2 out of 10. 1 out of 10. <laughs> Don't get the pretzel. Next up, we have the veggie dog. You know, right off the bat, it does not look very appetizing. <laughs> <laughs> but we have some toppings to put on. So we have some cabbage and some fried onions. It did help it look better. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Mm -mm. This one is a very strange experience. The beginning bite seemed promising. As you chew, it got worse and worse and worse. It tastes kind of like those veggie balls without the sauce, but also it does taste like ginger. I got a ginger flavor. Even though I like ginger, it didn't really work in this veggie dog. Mm -mm. I think the fried onion and the cabbage were trying to save it, but it couldn't be saved. Yeah, no, two out of 10, again. Yeah, two out of 10. Last but not least, we have the hot dog. Hopefully this one is better. Let's dip it in some ketchup. Cheers. Kind of a standard hot dog, although it does kind of more remind me of a sausage than a hot dog. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's firmer, huh? Mm. It's a no thrill hot dog. What can I say? Wait, are you saying no thrill or no frill? No thrill. What is no thrill? Meaning if it's special, it's thrilling when you bite into it. Yeah, no, it's no thrills, mom. Not no thrills. Made me laugh at me all my life. I wasn't even <laughs> born for like a lot of your life. Ever since you were born. <laughs> you know, if I'm comparing it to Costco hot dog, I like Costco hot dog better. So much better. It's a lot better. <laughs> it's like six out of 10. Five. <laughs> All right, so we tried so many things today. What's your top three things we tried? I love the cheap breakfast. And then I also love the chicken BLT wrap. Yeah, off camera, she kept eating it. Like she almost ate the whole thing. I know, you have to stop me. I also like the fried chicken tenders. My top three would be Swedish meatball, chicken tenders, and the cinnamon scone. I actually really like that one. <laughs> and then honorable mention is the cheap breakfast plate, just because they're so cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know below, what's your favorite IKEA food? Mine is in this video. Make sure you give a thumbs up. Thumbs up for mom. Yay. <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.